Hi guys, in this series of videos we'll start with a diffraction recap, then we'll look at single slit diffraction, then the diffraction grating, the diffraction grating equation, and an exam style question. So let's start just by recapping diffraction. What is diffra diffraction? Well diffraction is just a spreading of waves uh, when they pass through a gap or by an edge, and we can see that detailed below. We have our incoming wave fronts here, these are our incoming wave fronts and those are encountering a narrow gap. That's just here. And we see this diffraction or spreading here. This is the kind of thing that allows you, if you imagined this to be a doorway, for instance, uh, this gap here to be a doorway. Someone's, uh, these could be acoustic waves, as in sound waves. Someone's talking in a room, and that's what allows someone in the corner of a room to hear someone uh, in the other room. And it's this diffraction, the spreading of the waves. Now, diffraction is a general property of all waves and something always experienced, whether light or sound or water waves, etc. And, and often we'll see this most clearly in a, in a water with water waves in a in a tank, in a water tank. And we would generate these. These could be actual actual water waves, and they would uh, encounter some obstacle we'd set up, and we'd see this ripple pattern very clearly. So, a ripple tank is a really good way to observe these. So, how can we increase the spreading? That is to say, how how can we make the spreading more like like this concentric circles we're seeing. So we can do that by narrowing the gap as seen below. So this is one example where we've got a, a wider gap. So here's our wider gap. And then we're moving to this, this narrower gap. And we can really see how that affects the, the fraction. We see that with this wider gap here, we have a much more, uh, the, the waves are much more similar to their original their original um, uh, their original state here we see they haven't spread out too much they are still cut there they're curved still but they're not they're not dramatically different whereas here with the narrow gap we see as we had above incoming wave fronts like this but then we've got these these semicircles coming out here so that that narrowing the gap increases the will increase the spreading we can also increase the wavelength what does that mean here well uh, Using this as a, so having below as a ripple tank. If these are our wave fronts, then the distance between the wave fronts is going to be lambda, the wavelength. We see here that we've got, you know, a lambda, we'll draw that as lambda one. Here we've got a lambda two, with lambda two bigger than lambda one. We see that having a bigger wavelength leads to more spreading. These are more, you see these ones here, the, the wave pattern here is much more similar to the wave pattern we had here and this one is is more similar to this one so we see that even though the gap distance is the same we haven't changed the gap distance there if we increase the wavelength we have a, a more pronounced spreading hey guys to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific a-level physics videos just click the snap revised smiley face join me today and together let's make a-level physics a walk in the park